Kate and Jerry McCann join us now. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This will be your fifth birthday without Madeline. Each year before you've marked it with a small party, cakes, balloons, cards. Is that how you're going to remember her today? Obviously, it's slightly different today, George, because we're, we're launching my book. Um, there will still be a little tea party at home and balloons and cake um, with Sean and Emily and close family and friends. Um, I think I comfort myself by knowing that what we're doing today um, could be very positive in the search for our daughter. And as you said, all of the proceeds from this book are going to fund the search for Madeline because this has to be done privately now. Police aren't doing it anymore. That's right. The police investigation stopped in July 2008. So we've had to uh, get our own team of investigators and obviously we have to fund that ourselves as well as the campaign. What we hope with the book launch today, George, though, as well, is uh, launching a campaign really for an independent review of Madeline's case uh, by the authorities, something that's never been done. And for us, that's a major stone that needs turned uh, in the search for our daughter. You know, in the book, you base it on the diaries, Kate, that you've kept for Madeline. It is, it is so raw and honest about your pain. And what you did as a couple, there are points where you're actually blamed by the police. One point, the Portuguese police uh, basically offer you a deal. They say, you, if you just take two years in prison, confess to accidentally killing Madeline, this whole thing will be over. I think uh, it, it's hard to explain how terrifying that whole experience was. Uh, it looked like uh, our whole life was going to collapse around us. Um, and I'm sure if we had confessed to hiding Madeline's body, for which there's absolutely no evidence, and no evidence even that Madeline's been harmed, that would have been the end of it. Um, Kate was incredibly strong through that period and uh, was fighting for Madeline. I think the most difficult thing, George, was the realisation at that point that the police weren't looking for Madeline and that they were just focused really on trying to, I guess, blame us and for it all to be over. And obviously that is, you know, one of the most damaging things that could then happen to the search really was for the police to stop looking and to convince the general public as well that we were somehow involved and then stop them from looking. So that was the thing that hurt the most. You also write about, though, uh, you know, you had left uh, Madeline and the kids there. This, and my wife and I have talked about this, this, this could happen to anyone. But how, how were you able to stop blaming yourself in any way? I mean, I mean all I can say is how much that I love Madeline. Um, you know, we both love our children dearly, and there was no way we'd ever have put them at risk. I think I have to remind myself as well that the, the person who's committed this crime is the abductor. And at this point, that abductor, that person is out there free. So he's got away with this so far. He's also free to go and you know commit similar crimes if he's left as it is, if nobody's going to bother to try and look for him. And finally, what's your biggest hope of what can come from this book? Well, obviously, our main hope is that it'll lead somehow to us finding our daughter and for us to be back as a family of five again. And we'd like to thank everybody as well in advance that have helped us already. Thank you to everybody who'll read the book. And uh, please keep looking. Please keep helping us to find our daughter. And thank you for joining us today. Thank, thank you. you. The book is called Madeline. It is in bookstores today.